What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today's video is totally off the cuff. So I went to the gun shop this morning to pick up some stuff for a completely different video that I had planned for today. And I got to looking at the 22 ammo and realized I've never done a 22 long rifle video. So today uh, we're gonna check it off the list and uh, we're finally gonna shoot some 22s out here. Now I love the 22. It's actually uh, one of my favorite guns to shoot. They're just a ton of fun, super cheap and uh, you just can't go wrong with a 22. Now, uh, there's a ton of different types of ammo out there. The 22 long rifle is probably the most popular caliber in the world, so there's a million different kinds of ammo, but one of the most popular is CCI. So I got to looking and I had no idea that they made so many different kinds of ammo. So I thought, uh, why not buy a handful of them and do a little comparison for you guys. So the ammo that I got, like I said, it's all CCI and I've never heard of most of these. We got the Velocitor, just the standard velocity, the Suppressor, the Segmented Hollow Point, the Legendary Mini Mag, and the CCI Stinger. So, uh, like I said, this is just a, a few of them that had even more than this. So, uh, maybe down the road I'll pick up some more and we can do another comparison. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see that. But I'm excited for this. So, let's see how they do. So I thought about using a pistol in this video. There are a lot of people out there who like 22 caliber pistols and probably even carry them. But I would say the 22 is more of like a prepper's round or a small game hunting round. So I thought it would make more sense to use a rifle. So this is the gun I'm gonna be using today. This is the Ruger 1022 semi-automatic rifle. And uh, these things are literally everywhere. But before we start the test, I wanna show you guys why I like the 22 so much. Keep an eye on the muzzle of this gun and how much it moves. It's like shooting a BB gun. <laughs> so there's literally no recoil and it almost feels like cheating being able to put that many rounds on target that fast uh, without your sights moving at all. It actually is pretty cool, but obviously that also means that it's just not a very powerful round. And uh, there's a debate out there on whether or not the 22 is powerful enough to even be effective at all. And uh, I've been curious myself for quite a while on how some of these 22s would do in a ballistics gel test. So today I have my 20% clear ballistics gel block out here and I only have one gel block out here today. Usually I would have two, but I'm pretty sure that none of these are gonna go all the way through that. I could be wrong, but yeah, I have no idea what to expect here. So let's find out. All right, I'm gonna start with the full metal jacket ball round since I feel like they'll probably penetrate the furthest and then we'll go on to the hollow points after that. So first, we're gonna shoot the 40 grain CCI mini mag and it says this one is going 1,235 feet per second. All right, that one definitely went all the way through our first gel block. So I went back to the house and grabbed one of my other uh, old ballistics gel blocks. So let's try it again. All right, the first one that we shot is on top and you can see that it has a really big wound cavity about halfway into that gel block. And then the bullet kind of curved up and left the ballistic gel. Now the second one is right below it and it has a, definitely a smaller wound cavity, but uh, not bad. It also curved up towards the end of the ballistic gel and came to a stop right there at the very end of our first ballistics gel block. So I went all the way back to the house and got that second gel block and didn't even need it. So uh, it's hard telling how far the first one would have penetrated, but we know that the second one got about 16 inches of penetration. All right, next up we got the 40 grain CCI standard velocity. And it says this one's going about 1,070 feet per second. So quite a bit slower than the mini mag. Let's see how it does. So it's hard to see this one from this side of the gel block because it's kind of hidden behind the others. So I'm gonna show you guys from the top here. But it's the one on the right there and the wound cavity is definitely a little bit smaller than the mini mags. And the bullet also came to a stop uh, much shorter in the gel. So you can see the end of our gel block and where the CCI mini mag stopped. And then 
you can see several inches back is where the standard velocity stopped. And the CCI standard velocity stopped at exactly a foot into our ballistic shell block. I hope that sun wasn't too bright for you guys to see that. There's such a glare on my LCD screen when I was looking at the top of the gel block that I can't really even tell what I'm looking at. So hopefully you guys could see that okay. All right, next up we got the CCI suppressor 22 long rifle. Now obviously I don't have a suppressor on this rifle, but I still wanted to test this round. This is a 970 feet per second, 45 grain subsonic hollow point. So. Let's see how it does. All right, so that suppressor round went in below all the others and it literally has like no wound cavity. <laughs> you can see compared to those others up there, it just looks like a little pellet or a BB or something. Uh, the bullet itself is right there and it definitely did expand. You can see that it opened up a little bit and it stopped maybe an inch shorter than the standard velocity that we shot. But as far as the uh, damage inside the gel block, that is definitely the worst one so far. And this one stopped at about 10 and a half inches into our ballistics gel block. So uh, definitely not the result I expected from the first hollow point that we shot. Kind of interesting. All right, next up we got the 40 grain CCI Velocitor and uh, this one is a 40 gram bullet and it says it's going 1435 feet per second so that's actually pretty impressive you can see that little 22 caliber hollow point there so it's got a cool name let's see how it does dang I could hear that pop that gel block that was weird that sounded super loud and I can smell it now too. Wow. Man, I gotta say, so far these hollow points are letting me down. With a name like Velocitor, I was expecting that one to be way cooler than it actually was. So I hope you guys can see in there, but the Velocitor went in uh, right next to that first hollow point that we shot and the wound cavity is identical. So neither one of those hollow points have done any damage uh, inside of that ballistics gel block. Now, the Velocitor did penetrate quite a bit further. You can see it down there. It went at least a few inches further than that first one. But as far as damage inside the ballistics gel, uh, so far those are the two worst ones. And I know that that doesn't always mean anything. Like, you know, damage inside of ballistics gel doesn't always necessarily reflect like tissue damage or anything, but you do like to see it. And um, so far the hollow points have done hardly any damage. I have heard over the years that 22s um, can do a lot of damage with like tumbling and bouncing around and stuff. So maybe with a 22, the full metal jacket is the way to go. All right, we got a couple more hollow points here. Usually I would stop at like four, but these 22s are so small, I think we can fit a few more of them in there. So next we got the segmented hollow point and it is a 32 grain bullet and says it's going 1,640 feet per second. So screaming compared to the others so far. So when I saw the name of this one, this is kind of what I expected, but the hollow point itself didn't look any different than any of the others. So I wasn't really sure, but you can see that about an inch into that gel block, that bullet just completely came apart and broke into a hundred different pieces. It looks like our furthest piece is right there. So uh, much shorter than any of the other bullets. And obviously there's not much of a wound cavity because it just disintegrated on impact basically. So not much penetration, but it is pretty cool. And that furthest piece stopped at six inches into the ballistic shell. So uh, probably not the best self-defense round, but it looks like it could be a nasty little varmint round. All right, the final round that we got is the one that I was excited for the most. So this is the CCI Stinger. 22 long rifle and this is a 32 grain bullet and also going 1640 feet per second so uh, the exact same weight and velocity as the segmented hollow point 
but I assume it's going to perform a little bit differently. Let's see. That was definitely louder than any of the others. So I was trying to put that one on the left hand side of the gel block so that our GoPro would pick it up and it hit that piece from the last one that we shot. So I'm going to shoot it again and see if I can get it a little bit higher up. All right, the second one that I shot is on the very top of the gel block there. Didn't hit anything this time, so that's a plus. It looks like at about an inch into the gel, it might've done a little bit of damage, but uh, once again, for the most part, really no wound cavity at all from this bullet either. Now the bullet itself went down and stopped right there. Looks like it did break apart a little bit just before that, but uh, this definitely looks like the best expanding hollow point of the day. So. It performed well, it's just weird that none of these hollow points are giving us any wound cavities. So let's go start the fun process of digging all these bullets out of the gel block and take a closer look at them. So I got these bullets out of the gel block and I'm back home now so I do not have the boxes here with me. So I went ahead and put these on an AK-47 mag so that you guys could see them better. But the first two are the full metal jacket ball rounds that I shot, the mini mag and the standard velocity. And as you can see, uh, both of them look pretty good. They didn't really deform at all. Then we have the suppressor hollow point and it did expand really well. Next to it we have the Velocitor and compared to the suppressor you can see that the Velocitor definitely expanded and flattened out quite a bit more. It also was going quite a bit faster so that does make sense. Uh, then we have the segmented hollow point and obviously there was a lot more to this one than what I have here. I wasn't able to get all of that out of the gel block. Uh, that's a nasty little round and then the final round that I shot is the stinger and compared to all the other hollow points the stinger was definitely the one that expanded the most so all six of these bullets actually did pretty well well that is gonna do it for me today guys thank you all for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video I apologize for the wind it's been incredibly windy today and I'm sure that a lot of the audio from this video is gonna be kind of jacked up so I apologize for that but I hope that you guys did like the video. Again, I love shooting 22s and I just couldn't believe that it took me this long to get out here and uh, do a little 22 comparison for you guys. So hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please smash that like button for me and let me know in the comments what other 22 caliber bullets you would like to see me test. I'm sure I'll get a million of them because uh, the 22s are just never ending. It's, it's unbelievable really how many options there are. Um, in the 22 but today i just wanted to come out and compare the ccis because i know that they are a really popular brand and uh, they seem to work really well so i had a lot of fun i hope that you guys did too if you did uh, let me know give this video a like for me i really appreciate it if you're not subscribed yet please do so i really appreciate that and if you would like to help support the channel i will put a link to my patreon in the description box below and uh, you can help make more videos like this possible so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time